All right, now that we have finished with drawing our cityscape, we're gonna work on the coloring aspect of it. Now, when you color this, you really want to be able to do different you know, sections within each building, and each building should have somewhat of a monochromatic color scheme to it, which monochromatic means one color in all of its shades, so it'd be like red and then shades of pink with it. Um, for this, for this one, you can also add, you know, analogous colors, which are colors next to each other. So like if you're doing red, for example, and you want to add, you know, a red violet, you know, a little bit different shade of red, that's fine, but you still want it to be the majority of red. Um, and you don't want to color, you know, each individual square, a different color. You might want to combine a couple of them together and go around from there. So I'm going to show you a couple, um, buildings and coloring them and then I will um, fast forward kind of the rest of it. So let's say I wanted to start off with this building right here, okay? And I am going to do greens. So here's one of my greens and I wanna do this top section um, where it's this block and this block. So I'm gonna do my inside outline and remember whenever you're coloring something, you want it to be the same, um, the same as the outline. You don't want the outline to stand out. So I don't need this line in between, so I'm gonna go ahead and erase it. And then I'm gonna do my inside outline over here. And then this, this is gonna be where coloring one direction is really going to be a big, a big deal, okay? Because you want it to look nice and neat. So the coloring aspect of this should be nice and slow, okay? You should make it look really neat. Um, it's either gonna make your piece look lovely or it's gonna make your piece not look so good because you you know, took your time or you didn't take your time or you color all one way or you scribble all over it. So keep those things in mind, right? So here's this, I'm gonna color in this section. And then the rest of my particular house is gonna also just be shades of green. So there's this one. And then I'm gonna switch over to a different shade of green. And if you don't have a lot of shades of green, what's nice is you can also just um, layer green. So green is made by yellow and blue. So you could layer um, a yellow with the green or you could layer a blue with the green. And then those would create different shades also. Um, you can even layer your neutral colors. So you can layer green with um, black, or you could layer green with a brown. It's gonna give you a different shade also. And I went horizontal, so I'm gonna continue with my horizontal. All right, and then you're just gonna continue and fill in this whole one house, all shades of green. You can repeat those green colors too. So if I wanna use this one again, say over here, that is totally a possibility. Now I wouldn't do your doors and your windows um, in a green, I would do them in a contrasting color. So you could do them in a red because those are complementary colors. You could do all of them in you know, purple or just whatever you want. I just wouldn't do them in the same color as the house. All right. All right, so here's like greenhouse, and then I wanna show you kind of how you can mix colors if you only have the basic colors in your um, of your color pencils. So let's say I wanted to do blue, okay? So blue goes with like blue green and blue violet, and these are kind of, not really shades of blue, but types of blue. So we're gonna come over here, and I have my blue, and I have a red, and I have a green, and I have a violet, and a black and a white. Okay, so I'm gonna show you just a few different shades you can make out of all of these. So I'm gonna go over to this little house right here and I'm going to um, start over here and I'm gonna do this one section just blue. Okay, so I'm gonna take my blue and I'm gonna do my inside outline. And we're gonna color this in. Now, when I layer the other colors, it's gonna take multiple layers, so don't 
don't sit there and be like, oh my God, it's not working after the first shot. Sometimes you have to layer it multiple times, okay? So I'm still gonna keep my coloring sideways. Remember, it's always easiest to color the shortest distance, all right? So here's this. Now above this, I'm gonna do a lighter blue. So I'm gonna use my blue and a white, okay? So I'm gonna finish coloring this in. So this one I'm gonna do a blue and a white. So I'm actually gonna take my white colored pencil first and I'm gonna go ahead and color this in. Now it's really hard to see, um, but it's there, right? And I'm pushing pretty decently hard, not like going crazy, but not super light. And then I'm gonna take my blue. Now this one I'm gonna not push hard at all. I'm gonna do nice and easy. Do my inside outline like I was supposed to. Now I can kind of see the places where I missed my white color pencil because they're naturally already darker. Um, but either way, I'm going to go back on top of this one more time with my white and it should blend a lot of that out and do my inside outline this time too. I can't believe I forgot that. And then if you want, you can go back on top of blue with that, but I'm, I'm happy with this lighter blue. Now let's say I wanted to do like a darker blue right here. Um, if it's darker, I'm going to start off with my blue. So I'm going to do my inside outline and I'm going to actually add a little bit of purple to this one. So it's like a darker shade of blue, but it's still, you know, still a blue. So I'm going to color this one in. And then I'm going to take my purple. Now I'm not going to color super dark with my purple. You always have to be careful because these all, you know, always look really close. You have to read what they are. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna color this on top. And there's my darker shade of blue. And then you can kind of t turn around and do this, you know, to all of these different sections. I'm going to do this next one like a blue-green color. I'm going to actually just erase this line because I want to do both of them. And so I'm going to lightly color it in with green. Um, as you're working with your project, you know, if you keep with your color wheel, any of the colors that are next to it is who, what you can mix it with, okay? So if I'm looking at my color wheel, and I'm like, all right, here's blue and it's next to blue, green, and green, and blue, violet, and violet. I can mix those in. Now, I also showed you red earlier, and it's because red and blue make violet. So if I wanted to lighten it up a little bit, I could still add red. Um, you can't, you know, add orange because it's going to turn brown because those are my complementary colors, okay? And then you could add yellow, but then again, you're looking at a green. So, you know, always refer back to a color chart. I'm sorry, a color wheel. So that way you're, you know, aware of kind of what it should look like and what colors you can mix and just always know the rule of thumb is whatever it's next to. So I'm gonna color this in with my green and then I'm gonna go ahead and layer my blue on top of it. Now, um, if I don't like that, you know, you can always color it darker with blue and add, you know, black or something along those lines or a white. So. And then I'm gonna finish up my roof with a blue and a black. All right.
I uh, finished my blue one and I really like the layered look. And then you're gonna go ahead and move on to all of the rest of your buildings. And then I'll show you guys how to do the sky. So make sure that you understand that you're doing the sky very last and you're gonna continue to work on your buildings. Make sure you section them out into sections and that you use um, colors that are either a monochromatic or analogous where it's relatively, you know, all blues or all greens or all reds, colors that are all next to each other, okay? All right, so I finished up with my buildings and this is what they look like. And then I'm gonna move on to my sky. And now my sky is done very similar to the buildings, but you're gonna chunk them you know, horizontally instead of vertically. And you're also going to layer you know, your blues. So I would do like a blue, I would do a white, I would do a black. Um, if you have gray, if you have a sky blue, um, you can layer all of those different colors together. And you're gonna do the same kind of process and you're also still gonna erase little bits out of here. So. You know, I'm gonna start over here and maybe I want to do, you can do larger sections, you can do smaller sections, you can kind of mix them up, but definitely get rid of the um, grid marks for each section. And then um, this would be, you know, all one blue. And you still wanna do the same thing where you're coloring all one way, okay? And then you're gonna fill in the sky. And then your project will be complete. All right, so this is your final product. Make sure that you keep your colors in chunks, that you layer them based off the color wheel, and that's it.